see what we find here. Ah, uh, shine. See what we got, what we got. not be the best so let's see what we do how are we doing guys um let's see if we can catch something for after hours or from our hour man zoom pretty good so far spy what a beast man what a beast man, look at those levels and level to level spy broke every single thing that we've been calling this morning so you guys been following what we've been doing, man. You guys should be absolutely great, man. The moment I told you, even in the early morning, I told you guys, look, 450 was critical. You know, holding above was bullish. And other than that, man, it's only riding the trend. Man, I teach you guys how to ride a trend, you know, just following the 20 MA. As long as it doesn't break, you shouldn't be, you know, exiting the trade, just, you know, up buying the dips, right, with proper risk management. The only time that it pulled back, a spy was around 452 and it never broke. As you can see, he bounced from support and bounced from the 20 minutes, so they do were able to continue to hold, right? And be that a monster. I also talk about this when I started, look, you guys know the resistance levels because I've been talking about this for so long. I gave you guys a resistance level. We knew that 500 is, is, is a strong psychological level. So above that, I mean, that was just, today was, I think, one of the days that you needed to respect the rules, respect the system, respect the levels. And then you will just get paid. I mean, literally, literally, it's level to level. Um, right now, RBT, I joined two feet in this play. Definitely looking pretty good. I trim a decent amount on the spike 279. The daily chart looks pretty decent, right? You see it's curling up, breaking out, which is absolutely great. Uh, four-hour chart as well, very nice. You know, closing about a four-hour, good. Uh, so ideally, we want to see a respect in the trend. Right now, again, you know, we just some profits out. That doesn't mean that it cannot pull back, because it definitely can. So I'm just waiting to see my stop losses around 455, 265, I'm sorry. All right. And uh, yeah, see how he does that. I mean, everything else play out, you know, PSTV, like I said, you know, this is why I did sold my position on half of my position on on uh Friday because I knew that this could happen. So early morning, I did sold on the pop. Once it dropped and recover, and then I, you know, selling the rest. And as you can see, crash back. So, of course, I'm watching this one. But, uh, you know, you want to see ideally base off, consolidate on the level, and then probably think, you know, to uh, for a new position. KOD, following the plan, man. You know, this is a swing. This is the first day, actually, you know, from the week. So, there's nothing to worry about this. You know, you only have to follow, you know, the price action. Right now, again, it's pretty good because, you know, the daily candle is closing about a 60 minute, which is good. I mean, all the levels are set. We're going to be buying the dips. We're going to be just rotting the thing, you know, this thing all the way. Even if it pulls back, I mean, that's fine. Right, you can see here, even on the RSI, a possible cap and handle. So, you know, it's, it's more things are, are supposed to be on this one. Just get a late play, late play out. You know, one day is nothing. I mean, of course, we did took some profits today because you cannot not take profits. Like I said, if you see money, you got to take it. The market is going to give it to you and it's up to you to take it. So it spiked to the 2.70. We were like 7% up. We took those profits out. And of course, you can always rebuy lower, right? So that's that. Um, then what I'll tell you today was not really the day. As you can see here, not every single ticker is going to perform the same. Uh, there's some tickers that are going to do the same thing. Some all this one, one, follow the market, you know, direction today. So as you can see, it was choppy. It was, you know, there was, it was flat. I gave you guys the levels, the early, you know, support and resistance levels. You guys should also respect that. And other than that, Tesla was untradeable today. Like it was not something that you would trade today because there was no good setup in there. So keep an eye on that one. Now, I'm still looking to see, because, you know, if the market is hot today, you know, we can see some price, some uh, some decent pops on after hours, right? Usually when the market tends to be like this hot, uh, it tends to be some, you know, good price action on, on after hours, on, on, like near the close. So I'm looking certain things right now. For example, like I've been, I've been having some tickers and watch that uh, I'm kind of like looking it up. For example, this one, this is TCK. It was a beaten, beaten down stock IPO that seems finally giving some reversal signals. So I'm uh, looking those setups. Probably going to make some DD on them, but uh, depends how we close today. I'm probably going to start a position on these ones, but uh, I'm looking at EFTR. We know we just call this to December, so we have the catalyst on this. 
Um, let's see what we got. Let me really quick check on my scanner, see what we have. We can find something. Now, I mean, if you guys have any question, guys, uh, feel free to drop uh, you know, a question on the chat. Yeah, feel free to leave a question. Now, if, uh, all right, let me go on mute. Still a long time. Alpha, can it be continuing? Alpha. You turn around and go back the same way? Oh, no. Yeah. 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 One mile. You probably might get a good feel because that would go like post up. That's cool. Red means he's going What's going on, guys? Let me get any. Let's see what we can catch after hours. We're going to look at this. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's four. That's Sunday when you fast. But because of the off day, it can't be fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's okay, man. I'm, I'm unmuting people that is not muting right now. It's okay. Let's we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm just kind of waiting for now. RBT looking good. Are these um, plays you're going to hold overnight? Sound who? Me? Or... Waiting on your video, Alpha. You guys can hear me right, right? Is it is the mic working fine? You guys hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good, good. Yes, sir. Yeah, solid most. Yeah, but definitely solid, solid most. Hey, uh, JD. Yes, sir. Mostly, like I said, what I'm gonna probably wanna wait is uh, <clears throat> well, Microsoft, you know, had those news going on out there. You definitely want the one out. Like, oh, you wanna let the market play out? See, Microsoft only pick a duration like around eleven o'clock, pretty much right in the trend at that point, but. You see, there were pullbacks in between. So, but as long as he always broke, he never broke the twenty minute, you could have rolled that. So, something that you want to always keep in mind in those things. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't use you know thirteen forty eight EMA, so that's certainly really different traders. What I use is the 20 main and the 60 main. For me, that's everything that you need. As you can see here, my 20 main, 60 main, literally roll the 20 main today, level to level in a spy. So I'll be able to you guys make some money because well, I mean, I've been getting a lot of messages about this. So I'm happy. Follow you guys bank, everybody bank. So let's see how things go now. I mean, again, it's really strong how we're closing, right? Because we broke that little consolidation the spy has been doing for all these days. So that is actually bullish, right? Even though we are in a short week, uh, pretty much spy filled the gap that he had previously. So that is a good sign. Now, question is, is you know, this is a short week. I mean, we're actually we're going to go for previous highs because previous highs, which is 457.82. I mean, this momentum is strong. I mean, we don't really have much going on this week. So we call, we could possibly have like a, a you know, continuation tomorrow. It's really on the cards. 
But the thing is that we also have NVIDIA reporting and then, you know, I think the market is also moving on that that price action, right? The market is thinking that NVIDIA was once again going to report like a, you know, very strong report, which I do believe they will. I mean, it, it really, NVIDIA is a company that's been, you know, demonstrating for all of us that how strong it is as a company. But you also got to think that, you know, it doesn't matter. Even sometimes companies beat earnings and they will still drop. And like I said before, I do think that NVIDIA needs to cool down. I mean, I don't see NVIDIA, you know, gapping up once again, $60. That's, that's, I don't think that's happening yet. I mean, it, the artist starts are very high in most on time frames. So I think that at some point is going to have the pullback. Uh, but again, nothing, I mean, nothing is really guaranteed. You know, it's going to be 50-50. It can, it can still, you know, go up. So regardless what it is, you know, you don't want to, uh, you know, gamble it. But regarding it, we'll see how they us. But again, today we play those and be the calls that was absolutely with my students. We bank on this. Where are you coming from? The 500, that was crazy. You know, with spy as well. Really great. Was it crowded down? Yeah? Uh, do you want to get gas? Um, Crazy. What's wrong, man? What's with? I mean, I like to sue, man. I like to record the sessions. What's going on, man? <laughs> but yeah, man, that's true, man. Sometimes people, you know, join in and unmute themselves. So we just got to deal with that. It's all good, though. It's all good. It's all good. We're doing our thing. Man, RBT looks so strong. I mean, if you have any situation, I can check it out, man. Definitely, I've been, uh, I'm just kind of like waiting for the runner after I was runner. I'm scanning around. Hey, yo, Alpha, you need to check out Fubo and uh, the Honest Company. Those are two, like, <laughs> I guess you can call them penny stocks, but they've been on a tear, bro. Is it Fubo? Fubo? Yeah, Fubo and HNST. Oh, I, I saw that when you posted over there. Yeah, well, Fuma seems pretty good. Seems that, you know, they they had earnings not too long ago. So it seems to trend yeah. up daily closing above, you know, all the EMAs. Seems buying pressure is starting increasing day by day. So, I mean, he broke previous, almost broke previous highs. So we'll probably look on that if it really breaks above. I mean, if you want to see some sort of continuation on this, you want to see a pretty nice close above. I'm going to make a line so you can see that. Oh, I see it. Right. Was but yeah. that 240? I mean, 340? Yeah, 335. Yeah, that's what I had for my, um, that was my resistance. I had, I actually sold my, I had a $3 call option that I swung, I sold it. Yeah, 335 seems to be a clear break. Like, you see, if you break that 335, you're going to have, like, a nice move on that's on this, uh, fair bellow gap on this price, this candle mm -hmm. to 3.87. So that's something to look out if it really happens. Then uh, I think you say H N S T. I was looking yeah. at I was looking in the morning. Uh, that's a nice daily flag, you know, breaking mm -hmm. after. You know, mm -hmm. I I definitely love these setups when they go up because they usually the bullish, <laughs> bullish continuation, which that's pretty much you got. You know, this is this got around one forty six, one forty two. That was a nice entry, and now you're breaking out of this. You know, this flag. So pretty much uh, you know, moving forward to the two hundred EMA. So I'll probably. I mean, this this could be a nice swing, you know, like probably like a move toward 1.84. Like you're probably going to retest this because you can clearly see the trend is there, the buying pressure is there, breaking out the flag. So essentially it will get there, right now 1.67 seems to be the previous high that needs to break in order to get there. But I don't think yeah. it will, you know, the, 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 you know, the, the setup is there. That's a nice pick. I mean, of course, maybe please. I mean, you guys can spy. It's it's only twenty minutes for the market. So you better take your profits out. Don't be greedy. There's no reason for you to hold anything. Market run like this. You wanna secure your profits, man. You know you can just gamble. Yeah. So you guys don't wanna give away your gains. I mean, I already saw my position. You know, I was I was riding in spies at like four fifty one when I when I get my break. Uh, and I already saw my all my position because there's no reason for you. Uh, because, you know, I trade ODT, so anyways, 
I needed to close them before 3 30. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so, I mean, fire. regardless, even if you're holding something that is not all the T's, you don't want to hold this for tomorrow. But, I mean, I guess people will still do it anyways. So, <laughs> I don't mind. But, I mean, it's fine, man. Uh, you miss plays, bags. Uh, there is always more opportunities. Don't be feel, don't feel like you are missing. I mean, every day there are opportunities, right? You just got to be patient, you know, let it, let it play out, and, you know, more things will come. The problem is when you don't, you know, you get, you know, you get uh, anxious and then you try to overtrade something because you don't want to miss out. And, you know, that ended up shooting you back. So it's always the best way, man. You know, like I said, don't be, let me, I feel that, you know, even to me, man, I got a lot of screens and I can, I cannot trade every single stock that is moving around. You know, you just got to trade your setups, you know, be happy with what you have and move on. You know, that's, that's how trading works. You know, make your money run. So definitely RBT is looking pretty decent, man. I'm actually making lines right there the system, breaking other resistance to 72. Yeah, I'm always swinging this one. I got a nice average on this. Yeah, those those two I actually wouldn't mind like holding for a long time because I think they got promise, especially uh Fubo, because it's you know it's related brown time now. It did take a nasty hit, but it looked like it's trying to come back. So we'll see. I think DraftKings helped that out a lot too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, that's fine, man. If you're working, you you can you weren't able to trade. That's cool, man. Keep it disciplined. Don't force trades. I mean, people tend to trade while they're working and then they don't realize that you know that's forcing trades and you get distracted and you know think and cost you so it's fine man tomorrow's another tomorrow's a new day we will get it no reason to to force anything but I mean you know I'm not like things move pretty nice today man yeah we I didn't expect this for Monday bro <laughs> this was a gift <laughs> yeah, I mean, it actually, it's like I said, you know, it's it's um for being a Monday and a short week, you know, kind of like I grab everybody for surprise. Yeah, CDO move very very strong. Actually, I did uh, I put the news on CDO earlier. Yeah, like literally, at eight point forty one, I put the news there. One point is one point thirty five break. And saying it's 2.33 right now, almost Bob 100%. Been, Crazy move on this. Mabo been fighting for her life to get back over to 80. <laughs> she fighting hard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this thing is running, man. It's crazy that now it's at 2.33, man. I remember this. I remember swinging this stuff for like 30 cents. All that went to 1.80s. Make over 500%, man. In mine, man, right now is almost 2.41. That would be like 700% right now. Yo, Alpha, I got a I got a $6 target on Rumble. R-U-M? Rum? One bro, Rumble? Yeah. What's I going on, man? Andrew, Andrew, Andrew Tate is pushing this. I don't know who's pushing it. You, know who's <laughs> you don't know who is Andrew Tate, man? I don't. I pick my own plays. I don't really no, know. Do, you, do you know? Do you know who's Andre Tate? Nah, is he a big investor? No, man. He's a he's an influencer, a motivator, but you know he only streams on uh, Rumble. Uh, so okay, you know he has things. he has a big following. So I'm pretty sure like a lot of people you know trade this or invest on this stock because of him. 
I didn't know about that, honestly. I just looked at it and I I charted. Yeah, you gotta... <laughs> I like news, it, sometimes I catch news, man. but I chart. This, this is top G. You probably heard of top G, man. Is he? Yeah. I'm gonna check him out. Check it out, man. I mean, I, I agree with a few things that he says. Some some of them done, but uh, I think he speaks through some certain things that uh, it can really help people, you know, to motivate him to be better. Yeah. <clears throat> Yo, I got out of Tesla way too early, bro. Oh, not really, but really. Cause she just she about to crack two thirty seven, and I got out about that midway point in two thirty six. But I caught Tesla at two thirty three. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you consolidating hard. I'm buying you. <laughs> that was easy, easy. Like, that was the sweet spot, two thirty three. Right. It's crazy, man. Easy. I need John Deere to be earnest tonight, man. I really, really do. So tomorrow morning, I should say. Yeah, I think that tomorrow probably is going to be flat. You know, it's kind of like market. Market is going to be, you know, waiting. We got for, a couple uh, of earnings tomorrow. Yeah, market is going to be waiting for NBA earnings to see what's up. Oh. Cole's got a, uh, a earnings too. Kind of, kind of hoping Cole's hit like a uh, Ross. Might not. Exo mm-hmm. yeah. Wim, I got into that. Like I got, I don't know how. I know what I did with Exo Wim, and I actually was up on Exo Wim. But she couldn't hold 105, and I really, really, really needed that. But her holding this 104.90 level ain't, ain't bad either. Crazy. I'm I'm playing for 110 on uh, – I got a 110 target on Exxon. <clears throat> oh, let's see what it do tomorrow. Yeah, man. Stephanie, we're gonna we're gonna be on. Mm-hmm. I cut it. Six, six, six. Now. RBTE popping, man. Two seventy five. Hold on, let me see something. Nice, man. I'm on this trade since two fifty, two fifty three. Okie heads. Yeah. Yeah, this thing, this thing has room, man. Plenty, plenty of room. This a nice breakout. I think we're probably, 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 probably going to be able to see three dollars on this one tomorrow if things remain like this. Yeah, I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to make some DD tonight, and I'm going to, I'm going to talk about it on tonight's video, so don't miss it. But uh, RB, I already got a position on RBT, which is a two point fifty six. And also, uh, you know, I trade earlier ABBZ, and they are also, you know, setting up pretty nice. You know, they have this big fail value gap, you know, this up to three dollars. And I actually talked about this one a while ago. You know, they got they got like pretty nice amount of cash. Uh, so they don't need to drop an offering. So that's that. Yeah, there were a lot of stocks today. Like, it's really impossible to catch all of them. I'm not in check. A lot of my watch lists, they're like 44%, 50%, 20%. Like, everything, you know, had a nice move today, right? Because this is why you guys got to understand that. No need to feel bad for one play because there's always going to know another one. Yeah, can you, th- uh, can you think <laughs> of me? Only... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What's that? Uh- yeah, I was just um, I was just thinking about it. Are any penny stocks that we can take, uh, you know, be looking at? Especially with the um the Nvidia earnings coming out, so it was kind of think about any technology plays that can piggyback. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm actually, this 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 is why I actually took RBT. You know, RBT okay. is a technology company. Uh, but I again, I mean, I'm on two fifty six average, so I mean, the nice two point seventy three. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's setting up pretty nicely. Like say breaking out of the the four hour chart. 
Uh, closing the move is pretty nice. Daily charge has a lot of room. I'm probably going to make some levels for tonight. And also, this is a reverse split. This company made a reverse split not too long ago. And not, not, not too long ago, I think like a couple of weeks, every single stock that made a reverse split started, like started squeezing. So I think that this should be above three dollars at some point, right? It's, this is what we call a round bottom on the daily chart, mm -hmm. and it's shipping pretty nice. Now the two hundred mesa eight dollars. I will be surprised to see squeeze that higher, which is it, it's possible. I mean, you know the you know the spending will go crazy, but the float is around almost, almost twenty five million float. So I don't think it's gonna be like that aggressive. You know, squeeze probably like four or fives. But again, remember you know always you know proper risk management. You know, don't let your play go red. I mean, having your tangible stop losses, you know, don't marry stock. You know, the Spanish stocks are pretty tricky if you don't know how to play them, right? You get a lot of timing. I get this around 256. I had one of my analysts, they, you know, they call this like around 225. So, you know, we were pretty early in this one. Mm. So, uh, you know, we got more and more things to come. And my own, I have swings personally, like, you know, KOD that I talked about on video last night too. I'm swinging this one as well. Uh, so it was like three, four dollars too. So that is um, that's pretty. There, I think that is pretty decent amount of setups. You know, it's really all about choose what you like. You know, read some because it's important to read. Why are we you know choosing these stocks, not just buy them blindly because I say so? But uh, I mean, uh, there like I said, there are a lot of setups that are looking good. It's only about uh time, you know, let them play out and do its thing. As far as the ones that you're finding, are these from the active scanner that you're using, or are you just going through and um, searching? I, have, I mean, yes, we do have stocks that are from my scanner. Like I have a personalized scanner, just called Alpha Scanner. I do use that one too, but again, I have other scanners as well. My setup that I look, and I'll have, I also have like so many. I've been trading for so long, I'm seven years that I have so many stocks on different sections here in my Robinhood. And I'll, I always go look at them, you know, look what, what are they doing. If I see like a nice pop, you know, I got to read what's going on. Mm. It's all about, you know, like be dedicated to this. And I, I, I spend hours, you know, a night oh, yeah. reviewing stocks and, you know, reading so what's going on. So it's, it's all about, man. That's, that's when you actually find, you know, nice setups for swings. And you got to look at the TA, look at the charts. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of work. But, uh, I mean, when you love it, you're making a good amount of money. I mean, actually worth it. So. Hey, could you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. I didn't want to interrupt you. No, you're good, man. Hey, um, I got into um, OTL, where is it at? OTLY and CYBN. But, you know, OTLY right now is not playing right. It was up at 81 cent. And CBY and B been at 45 for a while. Yeah, you just, you just so OT, about OTLY, why it was a momentum stock. This was not, this wasn't main, this was not a swing, right? This was a stock that we day traded on the Alpha community. We, right. we day trade this, right? Uh, today, had it made a new high, you know, went to play 86.50. Now, I'm not sure what's your average, but of course, you wanted to take profits. You know, you don't want to marry stock. Um, no, I as far as I can it. see this, uh, it seems to be cooling down. Maggie is cooling down. So the buying pressure seems to be, you know, exhausted. So right. I think that this should be pulling back probably to 72 cents. You know, it's probably going to reach this at 200 May. So, you know, be aware of that. You know, they actually, you know, rejecting on the daily chart. You can see here, they are rejecting the 60 May too. So that is not a good sign, right? You ideally want to see continuation and break above. So All right. it depends on your so entry, you know, proper risk management, stop losses on merited stock. I mean, if he goes over your... Yeah. The percentage, then you know you want to get out now. CYBN is a stock that I'm personally swinging as well, but this stock is going to move like this. You know why? Because they have a bigger float, their float is almost 350 million. And right. This stock is mainly moving based news, catalyst. They've been having like good amount of catalyst. You know, the, the chart is there. You know, we're accumulating on this 40, my average on this 42 cents. So I am just pretty much riding and you know, waiting for dips. You know, the catalyst is all the way on December and probably end of December next year. So this is not hiring this. Now, again, swing trades, some some will play out the next week, some will play out the next day, but some of them could right. take months, right? right. You, you cannot really time this. You basically could we play the swings based on the catalyst ahead. So we know that this one is gonna have a catalyst on December. So you should be doing right now is just buying the dips, right? Simple. All right, I'll do that. Worry about I mean, if you want to take profits, you yeah, you can, but you've got to wait for the pop. You know, until it happens, then 
You know, you know the plan. I'm pretty. I think I'm pretty uh, straight up as far as telling you what you should be doing. On you know, on, on you know, understand. On you tell you like you know, you gotta be buying this, weigh this, and you know, just let the cattle just let it play out. So, you know, these are no day trades. I mean, you're expecting this to move like a huge in, in a couple of weeks. It might not happen, right? No. This is day trades yeah. is the one with day trades that I shared on the community. That's where yeah, I, that's, yeah. You, know, you yeah, can sometimes capitalize seems... you know, better if that's what you're looking at. But uh, or you know that again, you just let him play out. But again, I'll tell you why you shouldn't be on that one. I mean, again, proper risk management. She's breaking the trend already on the third minute. So right now, the 60 MA, the 77 60 MA is gonna be. I believe if you are still holding this. Then you better watch that because if it actually breaks that one, then you can see a drop that was like 73, 72. So you better watch that. You know, make your stop, your manage your risk management based on that area. Um again, ABBC seems to be still looking solid. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I talk about LBC, you know, breaking out of that the symmetrical triangle. I mean, this this like I said, this looking pretty good, you know, the daily candle closing about a 60 me, which is good. Uh, so yeah, I mean it has room. Nothing, not, there is nothing really much I can tell you about this. Just oh, play you. out the days, play out the trend. As long as I respect the trend, your twenty may or may time you. frames, uh, it should be doing great. I mean, you know, you guys know the D. I share the D with you guys on the on the community. So, yo, Alpha, you wouldn't believe what just happened, bro. What just happened, man. You would not believe what just happened. So I got, I got. Remember them coals. Coles earners I told you I was playing. Coles? Coles, yeah, KSS. That shit just jumped to 200 and some percent, bro. And then it died. <laughs> it had no reason to jump up 200 and some percent, bro. Like, I posted it. I posted it in the chat. That jump yeah. spiked. That jump spiked like, like something crazy just now. So I don't know if that's a sign of things to come for earnings or what, but it didn't even have no reason to make that jump. It was only it, 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 like when I posted the screenshot, it said twenty four ninety nine. That is nowhere, no near, nowhere near yeah, <laughs> what the crazy, delta. Man. Yeah, yeah that see, jump. It's, it's crazy. I mean, that yeah. weekly chart like pretty definitely clear down to the channel, as you can see. It's now mm -hmm. at the top of the channel, it's projecting that sixty yeah. May. So I can my best guess is that it's probably gonna start pulling back and you know going down, unless mm -hmm. you know it breaks. Above these 25s, 26. Yeah, she needs to. I need that. Yeah. I was about, I couldn't even sell it, man. I was looking at it for five hot minutes, but I'm, I use my day trade on my Tesla. The one I was saying I got out like $10 early. <laughs> crazy, crazy. So uh, Google, uh, CSA. It's uh, moving pretty nice. You know, it fills the gap up that it had before. And now it seems, again, it's still it's nice uptrend. You know, I'm looking at the weekly chart. That weekly is looking pretty strong. That's what we call a 3 was sold there on the weekly, which, you know, that shows no, a possible bullet continuation. So what I'll be looking on Google, if you're trading that, it's probably that 140.06 break. If that happens, mm -hmm. I think you're probably going to get new highs. That is a chance. Mm -hmm. Again, as you see, it reclaimed the trend because it dropped out. And he bounced again and now reclaimed the trend. So that is tells me that you know the bars are strong Google. And regardless, you know, Google is a it's an outperforming company. So you know it's there. Even it looks on the monthly, you know, like a possible cup on handle too. So I think that the chances for this to go higher is it's it's a possibility. Yeah, I cannot believe that just happened. Hey, you think Google go to one fifty over time? No, I mean, you gotta yeah. you gotta play level by level, man. You know, right? It's, okay. It's like you gotta play what you're seeing right now. I mean, yeah, you are at one thirty seven and you're thinking at one fifty, man. You're like way <laughs> far out. You know, we cannot predict the future. You gotta play what's in front of you. So once first, you know, take look that one forty. If it goes one forty, then you gotta go to one forty five. And then right. play that way, right? I mean, it's like it's, it's, I'm just always people ask me, yeah, you you know what's gonna happen? Spy, spy's gonna you know hit four sixty. I mean, how do I know, man? It's four fifty. You know, you gotta play what you see, man, every day, right? Uh, it's it's it's, it's all about that. Price action is what matters every single day, you know, especially this market. You know, it moves things 
very, very quick. And, you know, things change so quick in every single day that uh, you're training based on, like, say, hopes or speculations, then you're going to end up uh, losing your money. So it's mm -hmm. best to trade what you see. You know what I mean? Like I said, most of us, most, most of the people that's really day traders, most of them, the ones that they do swing trade, then they should that's be swinging me. stocks, not the options, because options is really very, you know, uh, highly risky if you don't know what you're doing, and especially in this type of market. It's not really the best for uh, swing trading options. So, means you got to be the swing, swing king like me, man. So let me, you know what I'm saying? Swing king, brother. You just yeah. got to be the swing king. I'm going to help everybody be swing king. What a king. swing king, man. I am the swing king, brother. What's going on, man? You know, we're going to be fighting for that crown. So I'm coming for it if you got it. Dang. <laughs> I, I don't compete, man. I, I think it. I think I let my, uh, my actions speak by themselves. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you that. Like, I won't take that swing. I'm getting there, though. I'm Lil Swing King. I'll be Lil Swing King. It's all right. Yeah, I mean, just keep doing, man. You're so doing you, great, buddy. What, You're doing great. You're what do you, you think about DraftKings? DraftKings? Yeah, I, I got out, got in, and I got out for some profit, and it looked like it's getting ready to go back good. up. Still, I mean, last time I checked DraftKings, I think that, you know, they got public earnings. So, again, this is why I do love the setups. Every time that stock ups up, uh, and then we do see like a next candle making a higher high, which is this. That is like straight for me. That's a straight signal bullish continuation. That literally you got that. You got that. Then you got a candle closing above support, which is resistant now. It was that 34.41. So when it closed in, that was you know that was it. You see the buying pressure increasing. Now it's moving up pretty nicely. Uh, now looking at the weekly chart again, nice recovery. You see here that round bottom on the weekly. You know moving level by level, right? So uh, right now it's at 38. Uh, you do have a uh, 30, 40.58 resistance. So that's something to watch in the coming in days, weeks. If it hits there, right? Yeah, because it looks like it looks like, a, it looks like an uptrend to me in a way. I mean, it is. It's, it's not that it looks. It is an uptrend. Yeah. All right. I'm 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 kind of I'm getting getting used to this option looking thing. So. Right. Yeah. Check check. You know, use use the EMAs. The EMAs are right. great as far as to you know guide you if it's uptrending or not. I'm trying to. I'm not sure if you you if you don't using it, better start using it. Get you know get used to them. I have a video about you know the EMAs how to read them. Those are the yep. ones that are gonna help you out to again you know follow the stock if it's uptrending or downtrending, right? It definitely helps you out a lot. Yeah, because I got I used I got the twenty. No, um, excuse me, the thirteen, the forty eight, and the two hundred. Is that a good start? All right. right. So I I don't use the thirteen forty eight. Like I said, I use the twenty and the sixty man, and that's you know every trade is different. You know some traders using thirteen forty eight. I don't use that. I use twenty sixty main. It's really what it works for you. You know what really works the best for you, right? Both setups are good, but um, again, you get to understand it like all the way, like a hundred percent to what what are they doing, right? Right. Uh, so it's, it's it's again it's different strategies, but as long as you understand them and you you know it's profitable to you, then it's good. Everybody, welcome into Redacted. Uh, I'm Tim Morris. I yes. hope you guys had a wonderful Ooh. weekend. Some 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 they are earnings when yes this morning right is that they had earnings this morning or are they having your oh, no, they have earnings, earnings now last week two weeks ago. It seems here it says eleven twenty next yep. earnings. That is today. No, DraftKings already had their earnings. No, no, I'm talking about Zoom. Oh, yeah, Zoom is today. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking. See, it seems that it's moving up and in, in, probably in earnings expectations. So I, would, I wouldn't I would I wouldn't just gamble this. I would probably wait after today to probably decide for a better, you know, for a better trend. You know, I got into um, is it from Bank of America for the, cause they did a good. They had, a, they had what do you think about that? Cause they had a good earnings. <laughs> excuse me, had a good earnings call. And I just waited a week after they finished earnings. It seems like a good um. What do you think about that one? Is it Bank of America? Yes. Uh, oh, this... I I I will have to check it. Um, I don't really trade Bank of America a lot. So I'm not really familiar with, you know, with price action and movement, but, uh, again, well, uh, well, what I can tell you based on the charts, it's, you know, it's, it's in a buy the nice uptrend, you know, closing about a 200 million on the daily chart is good to yes, yeah. with a doji. 
uh, doji on the you know now trends sometimes could be good sometimes could not be good you know doji signifies that there is a decision on the stock right now so pretty much tell, telling you that the stock doesn't know what it's going to do now was if it's going right. to have trending or if it's actually going to pull back now also keep in mind that they, you know bank of america has a gap up that it needs to fill that i'm just noticing right now so again usually sometimes stocks move up towards the you know the gaps and if there is not enough buying pressure, then they, they just get rejected from there. So that's pretty much, you are pretty much at that top, right? So that's why it seems that it rejected today. Yeah, it's like it's turning over, going down. So yeah, I mean, the only way to stocks, you know, fill the gap is that it needs to have like, again, continuation with the buying pressure. Like if it's, on, if it's a gap to the upside, you need to have buying pressure, you know, pushing in order, in order to move forward. Same thing with the downside, right? Selling pressure to pull forward, to, pull, to push downside. So that's something that you want to keep an eye out. But it seems that, it, you know, that uh, the roof is at 30.33. And 30.50 is the fill of the gap. Yeah, but I, okay, I see the, it just do the downturn at, right at the end of the day. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what's going on what's moving in after hours. Ooh, MRI. Ooh. SPY just dropped down after hours. It doesn't really matter. You know, what happens in after hours doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. really, to yeah. any, even sending tomorrow, what happens in pre market doesn't really matter much. You know, just to keep an eye on those levels. But, uh, it, uh, it's, it's, you shouldn't be like thinking really much on the phone. Yeah, 20 million. They still don't like the damn business. Zoom is popping on earnings. I think it's up like 7% now. Yeah, the lesson see went all the way into resistance. Yeah, 71.61. I know, we, uh, um, I think we talked about, you, you, you spoke about Zoom, I mean, not Zoom, um, Google. Because I was trying to figure out when to, when is a good good place to get into it. Because it's been 30, 135, I mean, uh, this, this same area for a while. Well, it depends what are you what are you trying to get though. I mean, if you want to get it as what as investment, you know that's, that's I mean, Google, you know, these companies are regardless they're always going to be good investments. So yeah, no, I'm not trying to hold on because I already have AMD and um, Ameritrade. I mean, um, they're calling people Amazon and some others. I I just want to start do the options on it. Right, right. Yeah, well. Like I said, it's some Google, it seems to be even out trending for for now. So something to keep an eye on. But I want to keep an eye on this one tomorrow too. You know, this is L LGMK. We got up today. Pretty strong finish. Probably going to keep an eye on this one for tomorrow for uh, some sort of continuation. Again, RBT close pretty strong. Nice breakout. Nice, nice, nice strong close on uh, RBT. I have a question about Microsoft. Um, you know how the open AI guy just got fired and he joined Microsoft? Do you think that's gonna make the stock pop in the coming days or weeks? You know, it really happens to the to their boards. Regardless of what happened to them, you know, Microsoft is an outperforming company. One of the best. And I mean I mean I mean myself, I have a I mean I'm an investor on them. I have a Close to, I don't know, last time I checked, I have a note how much I have on the, my, on my long term portfolio. But, uh, you know, even if it dips, to me, Microsoft dips, you know, Apple dips, those are just, you know, opportunities to buy. So play it on the short term. It's just, you know, you got to be careful because, you know, regardless of what happens, they will bounce back. So, so right now, currently, I have uh, 350 shares of Microsoft. That's uh, my long-term portfolio. I have like uh, 400 shares of Apple. I got 225 shares of Tesla. And I just like a couple of weeks ago, I, I started a position on NVIDIA. I bought 100 shares. That's my long-term portfolio. And I'm you know, holding those for long-term. When I say long-term, I mean like years. 
what I do, I buy shares on pullbacks. Like when these are huge you know, retracements, that's when I buy. Um, that's how I play them out. Yeah. Is that why? Is that why you went in so heavy based on this pro, this pullback at this time? Or are you, uh, well, you're just seeing I mean, a trend in the market. It's it's for me. I mean, it's not that heavy. It's just really what I normally buy. But uh, yeah. I mean, you know, you gotta you know you gotta observe you know the market price action, right? I mean, if you look based on the you know the price action, and Microsoft peaked to three sixty, <laughs> and then it pulled back again to like three seventeen towards the daily two hundred. So that area was a nice area to buy for the long term, right? So you want to look on bigger time frames to understand where is a nice pullback. So Microsoft like around 320s, 330s, that was a nice price. Right. So you like I said, even see what you know, those news about it, you know, CEO, I don't know what happened there. You know, Microsoft keep performing out outperforming the market. Yeah. And it will continue doing. So I don't I think that Microsoft will get like, it will be a 500 stock like Nvidia in, in some years. So it's just a matter of time. Hmm. And why, uh, you know, I'm buying, I'm buying, I'm buying. Got it. Like you said, you're just accumulating on the pullbacks when right. it gets down. Of course, to a, I mean that's yeah. that's really the point of long term investment, you know. Yeah. I don't. I already. I, I don't even. To be honest, I don't. I don't even know. I probably have. I don't know. I, mean, I have like a big amount of money in there, and I just keep adding and adding and adding. I'm I'm forgetting about a portfolio. I don't even look at it. That's kind of like, I will look at it when I get like forty years, fifty years old, and I'll be like, oh yeah, shit, I can take this money out. Other than that. For now, I'm just uh, focusing on the short term. Nice dip in MRI. Hey, excuse me. Um, some of your um, your penny stocks you was you was, you was looking at, and um, I have some wrote wrote, wrote down, and I'll see if because I haven't got into I only got into two the the uh, CYBN and the OTLY, but I was also you was watching for the EFTR. KOD and a PSTV. You think those are too late to get into? Well, PSTV already play out, right? So that's the stock that you don't want to get it right now. I mean, we already played out last week. Uh, okay. It had a nice run up, and we knew that they had a conference today, which that's why that's why actually they drop and actually warned you guys that that was what might happen because usually stocks tend to sell off on conferences. Uh, hence, why they took profits fifty percent of my position on Friday, and I sell most of it before the conference. Uh, now I wouldn't touch that one PSTV for now until again I see it base off and show nice sense, you know, size of consolidation. So that is out of the picture. EFTR, I'm holding that one because they do have catalysts, you know, ahead. So that's fine. I mean, also, you know, I noticed the director and one of the chief officers, they bought some shares last week. So that tells me something, something's going on. This is what we are we are in accumulation zone. Uh that's what I'm just loading up too. You know, my average on uh, EFTR is like 53 cents. So I'm just loading up, you know, if I see a big dip, I buy the dip, you know, I'm just loading. And you can see clearly accumulation there. I mean, it moves slow because, you know, again, this, these bio companies, they will only move heavy when the catalyst or data comes out. Other than that, right. it just accumulates, consolidates, so that it gives you the opportunity. That's why I like to share certain displays because I, I let people that has nine to five jobs have less stress to accumulate displays, let them play out and make money, right? Instead yeah, of day yeah. trading every yeah. single day. So that's what I do. That's me. That's me. And that's what you should be looking at. You know, you, you got to look forward to, you know, accumulate your shares, buying the dip, buying the dips. And when the time comes, pop, take your money, and then you move on to the next one. You know, that's that's how the game is. Okay. All right. So, and again, OTLY, you shouldn't be in that one. Like I said, that, that was a day trade. That was not a swing trade. So. All right. I'm out of that one. Uh, Yeah. I mean, like I said, CYBN, same, same situation. It's a swing trade. Again, it's actually, it's, that's actually why I bought. Uh, when you dip this lower because oh, this is a big dip, you know, nice on a critical level. So that's why I loaded there. And like I say, my average in this is 42 cents. And uh, yeah, I will look at this. And if it gets a big dip again to 40s, I will buy the dip and just let it play out. You know? What about, what about KOD? KOD, like that's a new swing for me. Uh, I, I I added. And actually, to, like what I'm looking on this one is if, because today I had a nice pullback. Uh, I will look to this because my if it pulls back to two twenties, I'll probably buy the dip too. Because again, the, you know this one is just starting right now. You know this is oh. literally just a start. So we might see a move. You know this might take a couple of weeks probably, but I think that we can see four three dollars on this eventually. You just gotta let it play out. Like so so better just the best way for a pullback to get in. But I mean yeah, it did a nice pullback today. I mean you can get it started today, just like a small small position and tomorrow. If it dips more, then you can, you know, get some more, you know. All right. 
What about the recent one that you just put out as well? It's uh, SNES, SRD. Which one? Uh, SNES. Uh, that was not... Hold on, let me check. Was that just a word? That was a day trade, if I'm not mistaken. SNS was a day trade. It was not a swing trade. Okay. If it's an alpha trade, it's just it's a day trade. We were, I was looking on the... So again, this one is it was a meta new. It's a reverse split new stock. You can see nice breaking out right now. So this one has room, right? But my my I day traded today. You know, I'm not really, I'm not looking to hold the swing. Although it has the setup is pretty nice. If you're in the play, you want to you know, want to hold it, then that's up to you. Uh, I'm not. I mean, it has room. I mean, it definitely has room. I can tell you that it's looking bullish. It's right at three dollars. So breaking the sixty minute on the four hour chart couldn't open up to like four dollars. But uh, again, it's also risky because this one is, is pretty new. They just made a reverse plate. So usually when they're this, this little pumps, there will be also pullbacks. So it's very tricky to play the stocks. That's why I'd rather to again, just you know get what it gives me and then move on to the next one. But uh, it's on my watch list. I'm watching it uh, for tomorrow because like I said, so far it's, it's in a good trend, but it still is on critical level. Like you see right now it's hanging around this $3 that you, they previously got rejected. So tomorrow, you don't know if it's going to knife down and again all the way down to like 240s, 230s, because it can do it. It done it several times, so it can do it again. Oh. Right? So Got it. keep an eye on that. Yeah. I mean, if you're a beginner, then to be honest, you shouldn't be doing options. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you're a beginner, what you should be doing is learning first, you know, techniques, the charts, you know, patterns. Uh, learn with the stocks. Because if you're if you're a beginner, you're trying to again, you get into options, more likely you will lose, more likely you will wipe out your account because that's what the people does. And that's because people have the mind, wrong mindset about you know getting onto the uh getting into on this on the options because they're more liquid and they give you more money, which is the wrong, you know, the wrong mindset. That's not how it works. You know, options, yes, they are more volatile, but with all the proper risk management and proper, again, uh, execution, you will end up losing money. So if you're a beginner, you shouldn't be messing around with, with options. How, even myself, you know, when I started trading options, that was after four years of trading uh, stocks. And then I move on to those options. You just kind of like start messing around with them. That was like three years ago, but that's what I started. So you got to think about it. I started messing with options after four years of doing stocks. Wow. Why? Because I was trying to fairly be consistent, you know, making money consistently, you know, be profitable trader and then thinking about doing options right now. So, yeah. again, if you're doing, if you're buying and selling shares, uh, I mean, that's fine. But you might want to try to, you know, get into something else, not doing options. But uh, you got 10 shares of NVIDIA, so that's good. I mean, for me, it's a good investment, really. Uh, just my two cents, to be honest. Yeah, but I started off with, um, I was buying Tesla's um, shares. I was like buying like six, 700 shares of Tesla. At the bottom, and then Tesla will go up like twelve dollars. Then I will sell it, and then it, when it went back down again, I buy another four or five hundred shares. And then you know, like you said, you know, I, you already you know Tesla moves so fast. So that really did used to help me a lot. But when I'm um, doing the, um, just shares of instead of options, but I said you know, options was a was a a, a more liquid a liquidity in this fast so i was talking about i was thinking about getting into it i mean it's personal preference man you know just telling you from my point of view that i see people losing a lot of money doing it and you know i tell my students don't do it so uh, i don't i don't really if you want to do it it's really up to you i yep. would not recommend it but, okay uh, you know it's it's you want to People, I understand what you're saying, but again, if you're still not profitable yet, so going into options, you will still are in risk to lose it. You okay. Know? You are still in risk to get it wrong. So you just got to keep that in mind. You'll see. That <laughs> no, no, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm talking to you about. And you know, if you put penny stocks or stocks to hold. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm doing. Just follow follow, follow the swing trades that I give and give in, you know, just accumulate in, you know, profit from them and. You should be good. Chilling. I know. I was 
So, um, I think this uh, I was on another what's the name for like stocks for Josh, and he was talking about TOI. You know anything about that? TOI is another screen trade tool. They had a had a nice earnings, I believe. <laughs> but this one is more like uh, a long swinger. You know, you see it's a week in the weekly. You see a round bottom there. Uh, lay on the dips, in my opinion. You see every pullback that he's been having on the week <laughs> tends to bounce from the twenty MA, right? So right now you want to see that. You want to see it holding that two dollar range. So right now, so the, the 60 on the weekly chart. So that 2.14 support is very important right now. And even the two dollars you collect, that was gonna be important too. Mm -hmm. I mean, they don't they, they haven't released any news or anything. The reason why I was also dropping because I noticed that uh the director sell like he sold some shares, so that kind of like caused the dip. Which is okay. I mean, if you, if you are like going long on this or you're swinging this, then it shouldn't matter. I mean, it's actually better for you because it's, you know it's giving you a lower price. So it's best to uh to get it. <laughs> we saw oh man, that move. Two fifty. Wow, man, insane CDR. Uh, so, so what are we looking for, looking at this week? All right. So, so right now the best thing to do for EFTR and um, KOD is just to buy on dips and keep on um, hold and keep building on them. Uh, yeah. Again, just play the dips. All right, I could do that too easy. Did you say something about LGMK? Yeah, I'm actually looking at it. I, I mean, the chart was looking good. But, um, no, I can't hear you that good. No, what I was saying is that, um, yeah, I mean, it was it's looking good because again, I, I like the setup when they got up and LGMK got up today, so I am kind of <laughs> looking at it for possible continuation, right? I'm probably gonna, you know, chart it, I'm probably gonna talk about it in today's video, so again, check it out, don't miss the video. All yeah. right, so I'm just uh, I'm seeing the spin on Butler's mission, Butler's in Chicago, the really green, all these, we could have got a tilt yeah. Mm. Yeah, because it's been at one seventy six for a while, and then.
Stop. Mute it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah, so after hours right now, well, the only two things I noticed that they were moving it was GLMD and MRI, but um, they're not holding up the gain. So it was like, there was like a quick pop. I was losing the trend. I could think that there could be a possible wolf like on MRI, but um, <clears throat> you don't want to go ahead and uh, jump myself. You need to be low B1 too, so not really confident on that one. This one is the one that's actually holding up. The 20 were pretty good. Bounce right now. Now I don't even see news on this one. Why actually Jill and maybe I'm gonna check it out. You know talking about um the, the Norwegian cruise line, the NCHL or N yeah, NCHLH. Huh? Which one? NCLH. Hold on, give me one second. So November. I have a general question, um, Alpha. So we talked about EMAs earlier. Can you uh -huh. kind of can you kind of explain why you use the twenty and the sixty? Have you uh, have you watched my video that I made about it? No, you have a video. Okay, I'll go look for it. <laughs> yeah, but you, see, you gotta gotta make some DV in it. Yeah, I mean, actually, I can explain it, but it's gonna it's it's a, it's a little long, you know. I actually made a bit exactly for that reason. So, oh. you know, I went on detail on why I'm actually using the 20 to 60. So, okay, I'll go look for that it. That can help you out. Uh, she'll be, uh, I mean, if you're on the Alpha community, you just go check stock location. Okay. I'm not sure if you are there. Uh, if oh. not, I put yeah. some on YouTube too. So, she'll be saying it's a uh, top, top five indicators. That's the beta call. Gotcha. Thank you. Yo, what's up, Cindy? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Cindy. If you want to say something, I'm good.
<clears throat> and you say you use the 200 EMA also? Yeah, the uh, the 20 and the 60 and the 200. Okay. You said the 60, right? Not the 50, the 60. 60, yeah, 60, 60. All right. Okay. 20, 60, where's my 200? Okay. Do you use the VWAP also in there on the chart? Yeah, it's uh should be the yellow the yellow line. Those were uh, my VWAP is. All right. Um, how do you determine, based on your chart or time frame, your uh, the the supports that you would look at um, from your resistance and I mean, it's obviously from what you were sharing as well, showing your your ranges based on your resistance as well as supports, um, based on the the charting process that you had shown in a video. But how do you use your your EMAs with the sixty and I know you're to two hundred or twenty? on making that determination as to what, what time frame they use on that? I mean, I start with bigger time frames. Uh, I also have a video about that too, about how do my how yeah. I do my lines. Uh, I'm not sure if you haven't watched it or not. Yeah, I watched I watched the one based on drawing your your, your um, resistance and supports um, mm -hmm. based on the lines. But there was also, was there another video that you had as well? No, no, I only have one. It, it, it says okay. uh, how to draw support and season lines. That's what that's what I do. You know, I start with bigger time frames. You know, for my weekly, and then I start making lines from the weekly. Then I jump to the daily chart, and then I jump to the four hour chart. So okay. the lines that you make there, they're gonna be reflected on the smaller time frames, like thirty minutes, five minutes, one minute. And you will see those lines there. So those are the lines. Those are the levels that you you, you are playing out. Mm -hmm. There is no need to make lines on the smaller time frames because you are just gonna crowd your chart with many many lines, which you don't need them. 
The yeah. only thing to know critical levels. Critical levels are only able to be identified if you are actually looking bigger time frames. Yeah. Now the EMAs again, it's only just to follow the trend. Now sometimes we do use the EMAs as far as to identify if there is a major breakout to the upside or if there is actually a major breakout to the downside. And this is why we use the 60 May, the 20 May. This is why also the 200 May is very important, right? Because I, many times I talk about how the, the 200 May tends to be like a magnet. If it's actually breaking out to the upside, you know, this price action tends to knee, go near to the 200 May. And the same thing works to the downside. If it breaks down, if there's a flush down, then the price action um, will drop towards the 200 May before any bounce. Uh, so it's, it's really all about how to, you know, look the price action, you know, where is it actually hanging around? You know, what is near? Mm -hmm. What's if it's a 20, if it's support, if it's resistance, what do you have near, right? And then you make decisions, you know, based on those things. Okay. Yeah. And going back to what you originally said, that was something that uh, uh, actually helped uh, make a, I need to make a correction to. So you're saying basically use your weekly, your daily and your four hour. Right. Or, That's what I start drawing my lines. I start on the weekly, then I go to the daily, then to the four hour. Got it. Okay. And then for, for day for well, swing trades or uh, day matter. trades. Or yeah, that doesn't matter. I mean, swing trades, day trades, all the same, all is the same process, right? Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's just, that's as far as again the levels that you need to be that you're gonna use either day trading or swing trades are gonna be the same so you still want to have them you know draw uh, of course you know the execution is gonna be different because again you're day trading you're gonna execute them based how is it moving on the day mm -hmm. if you are um uh if you are swinging if you're swing swing trading something then again this is why having your proper levels proper again ta proper dd on the stock will actually make a difference right so all right appreciate it no problem. Well, uh, oh, comic, Yeah, thank you, Mike. Yeah, about XLRE. Did you, could you look at that for me, please? Which one? X ray L long R E. Do the X-ray, this one? Yeah, X-ray, X Lima, Romeo, Echo. Is this what you're talking about? X-ray, Dense Supply, Sirona, Inc.? Is that a stock? X-ray? Yeah, X-L-R-E. Oh. Real estate real sector? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's a real estate play. Yeah, it's a actually it's a real estate um select sector for the SP uh, for the spot SPDR spider seven one six eight nine nine four. It's all about being back early. Don't miss our early. Black. I mean, it seems to uh bounce from that support, but um. I mean, it's above us because the way I just to let you, the way I was looking at you is it's for your for the um, it's above the it's the it's uh above the EMA that twenty EMA. Well, yeah, Actually, it's above. It depends how you're looking at it, because because uh -huh. what I can tell from this is that um, it gets her better access to as being in a mayor down train. It's actually pretty much forming a wedge. Which that tells me that a breakout is 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 coming out anytime soon. But uh, the fact that it's you know trading below the two hundred MA, uh, that could tell me is that you know two things can happen, right? Either rejects from the you know from the top of the range, as you can see here, and come back down. Or if it actually breaks out the top of the range, then we'll probably have a nice move towards like previous resistance, right? Air resistance around thirty eight, thirty nine. Now we got Bob on the daily chart. So again, that is good as far as you know possible right. Buddhist, Buddhist continuation. But uh you are in a critical area, right? You're very, very near to that rejection area. So even though it's above the two even if it's above the two hundred EMA. It, it's it's not a, it's, it's not about it. Is it really it's right in between? When it's in between, that is not confirmation, right? The same the same thing works with any other play. When I say when I talk about confirmation, you need to have the candle and the week closing above the line. If that doesn't happen, if it's in between, if it's touching, if it's the body touching or is the weak touching, then that is not confirmation. Then you can get faked out. 
right? That is how projection happen. So right now it's not breaking the Doha number. It's in between, right? The price is a little above, but the candle is not closing above. So again, this is why you are on top of the range. So oh, this sorry. will be a rejection, right? Yet that the day ended up green, that doesn't mean that it's going to continue going up, right? So that's sort of the thing that you got to consider again. I'm not familiar with the stock, but I can tell you the, how the position, you know, how the position is looking right now. So yeah, for some reason, my EMA is, is a straight line, a white, a straight line across, but it's not near. My EMA is not set up like yours. I don't know how to. Well, it depends on the time frame. I mean, I'm looking at daily on to the daily chart, so maybe you're looking at the wrong time frame. But again, oh, uh, look at the five minutes. So sometimes, um, I think trading view tends to be a little off from we will for some reason. If you're really using yeah, it. okay, I was on the I was on the five minute time frame. Yeah, then that's why because they, you know the EMAs move on different time frames. Okay. So keep an eye on. But yeah, um, I found an appointment to take care of. But again, if you have any question, guys, don't forget to let me know. Just uh. Leave me a message or send me a DM. All right, guys, uh, don't forget this video. I'm going to update the market and possible place for tomorrow. So I'll see you guys later, right? All right. All right thank you. All right, guys. Thank take you. care, okay? Have a good night. Mm -hmm.